Hey guys, how are you? Coach Christine here, happy Sunday. Thanks for joining me today. Feel free to say hi as you jump on. Drop a one if you're watching this live. Drop a two if you're catching the replay so I can come back and say hi to you. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. So today I wanna to talk to you about another hormone. A couple weeks ago, I shared a little bit about one called leptin that's responsible for your satiety hormone. So it tells your brain basically like, hey, I don't need any more food, I'm good. Hey Suzanne. And today I'm talking about another hormone called ghrelin, which is the one that tells your brain like, I am hungry, feed me. So the way I kind of remember it is ghrelin sounds kind of like growling, like your stomach is growling. So when you're running on an empty stomach, your stomach is growling, it releases the hormone ghrelin, it sends a message to your brain and basically tells your brain, hey, I'm hungry, I need to eat. So when you're full after a meal, you stop getting that signal. Um, in normal situations, ghrelin levels peak right before um, you eat and then, they, and then they drop down afterwards. Sorry, I need to fix something, sorry. Um, so normal conditions, ghrelin levels will drop off completely after a meal, but there's a lot of studies that show in overweight people and obese people, their ghrelin levels only decrease slightly, which means they're not getting that really strong signal to stop eating, which can cause them to overeat. Interestingly, the less fat a person has, the less ghrelin they produce. So they kind of do this as a, a more ghrelin they produce, I mean. so. Um, so the less fat you have, the more ghrelin is produced, and your body does that in a way to try to like make you eat more, um, to to try to like prevent you from getting too thin. So as you get closer to like a weight loss goal, maybe, and it can get harder and harder. Like the closer you get to it, it can seem more challenging. Um, that's not in your head. That actually is your body's. Um, biological system like that's the way it's trying to get you to eat more to like I said prevent you from getting forget prevent you from getting too thin sorry so you're not losing too much weight but ghrelin in our system also stimulates human growth hormone so if you wait to eat or eat less frequently and allow higher amounts of ghrelin to build up in your body, you can raise your human growth hormone levels. So I've talked about human growth hormone levels before, but if you don't remember, I'll remind you some of the awesome benefits um, from it, but it's called your fitness hormone. So it promotes muscle growth, it can boost fat loss by increasing your metabolism, it works in your body to um, help with repair of pretty much every tissue you have, your skin, your bone, everything. It increases your libido and protein synthesis. It helps with your immune system, helps with your energy levels. So there's a lot of benefits of having a lot of um, HGH in your system. So to take advantage of this growth hormone spike even more, you can also exercise when ghrelin levels are high. And this is gonna spike human growth hormone levels even more. So the best way to take advantage of this is to adopt an intermittent fasting regimen and eating less frequently. Now I didn't say less food overall, just less frequently. So as I mentioned before, I really would advise you to work out in that fasted state before you have your first meal of the day. So this is gonna allow you to work out when your ghrelin levels are at their peak um, in the last few hours of your fasted state so you can take advantage of the high human growth hormone levels. And this is all good, also gonna help nutritionally replenish your, bottle, your body um, after a workout with that first meal. And speaking of your first meal, you wanna make sure that you're avoiding foods that have a lot of high fructose corn syrup or sugary sweetened drinks. Those can also imp impair your um, ghrelin sensitivity. And also high volume, low calorie, nutrient dense food like vegetables, um, are gonna make you feel full long before 
you're ever going to overeat that's going to reduce your ghrelin levels. And then having protein at every meal, especially at your first meal, can also reduce your ghrelin levels as well and help normalize them. So it turns out actually that breakfast, the supposedly most important meal of the day, actually starts off your day by decreasing your ghrelin levels, which can sabotage your goals to better health and better physique. So if you retrain your body not to expect food right when you wake up and all day long every two hours, um, then so you have your breakfast at maybe like 11, um, then these side effects of hunger become less of an issue because you're normalizing your ghrelin levels. And your ghrelin levels also influence other factors, so different lifestyle habits. So for example, lack of sleep increases ghrelin. So that can make you feel hungry when you're really not, you're just tired. So those late night snacking urges that you get, that's not just in your head, that's coming from increased ghrelin. Um, and being tired is making you hungry. Like that's, that's like, that's not just in your head. A lot of people like, they're like, why do I always want to snack late night? You're just tired. You need to go to bed. <laughs> um, that's why lack of sleep is linked to weight gain. And then other things, stress, anger, sadness, most negative emotions also impact your hunger hormone ghrelin, which is why a lot of people are, that experience these emotions seek food as comfort, as a coping mechanism. Again, it's not in your head. There's a biological reason why you might be reaching for food when you're feeling sad. But by getting all these hormones, insulin, leptin, and ghrelin, kind of back to functioning properly with the help of intermittent fasting, which anyone can do, um, it's going to help you not just look your best, but really feel your best. So that's what I want to share with you about the hormone ghrelin. I hope that that was educational for you. I hope you learned something that you can incorporate um, into your life right away. If you ever want to learn more about intermittent fasting, that's often kind of the underlying theme of a lot of the videos that I do. I have a whole series on it on my YouTube page. You can go to YouTube and just type in my name, Christine Steins, and you'll see my channel and then you'll see the different um, videos that I have there. And like I said, I have 10 videos on intermittent fasting that you could check out to learn more. If you ever want to talk one-on-one -on -one about your specific uh, situation, just shoot me a message. Um, I'm always here to chat with you and I'd love to chat with you about it. Um, what else? I think that's it guys. So thanks for being on here and watching. If you like this, please, you know, leave a comment below. Um, oh, you can ask questions, you can comment questions below too as well. Um, but hit the like button um, if you feel inspired to share this video on your page too. Maybe someone else will see it who, who could benefit from it. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday and have a great week ahead. Okay, bye guys.